This tutorial demonstrates how to create drive time rings with Maptitude mapping software. Note that while I'm using the Canada country package in this tutorial, the steps are the same regardless of what country package you are using. Click this button or choose Tools, Routing and Directions, Drive Time Rings to display the Drive Time Rings toolbox. By default, the Click Origin Points tool is chosen. You can use this tool to click on the map at one or more origin locations like this. Or you can use a point layer. I'm going to use my store layer to compute the drive time rings around the stores, so first let me clear these stops and then click this button. Now I'll use my store layer as the origin points and I'll use all features in the layer. And I'm going to create three rings at five minute intervals. Notice I can also choose whether to base the rings on travel time or distance using the Here Street layer provided with Maptitude. Now click this button to create the drive time rings. Maptitude determines the rings, adds them to the map, and sets the scale of the map to show the entire layer. Everything within this red ring is within a 5 minute drive of a store, and each successive ring is within an additional 5 minutes. Notice that most of my customers are in one of the three drive time rings, and thus within 15 minutes of a store. The drive time rings are stored in a temporary file. Click this button to save the rings to a file if you plan to save the map for future use. Finally, you can click this button to calculate demographics and other attributes for the rings you created. Before I do that, however, I'm going to first customize how the demographics are calculated so that I can also collect some information about my customers. So first I'll click the Options button, and then click this button to customize the demographics. For each ring, I want to know the number of customers and their total sales. So I'll choose my Customer layer from this drop-down list, and choose to sum the Sales field in the Customer layer. There are several other options worth noting in the Drive Time Rings toolbox before I continue. You can check this box if you want to treat the origins separately. By checking this box, you can compare stores. I'm going to leave this box unchecked because I'm interested in the total population of customers near any store rather than specific stores. You can choose whether to calculate the demographics as individual or cumulative rings. For example, when this is unchecked, my second ring will have the calculated demographics for just the orange area that is 5 to 10 minutes from a store, and my third ring will have demographics for just the purple area that is 10 to 15 minutes from a store. If checked, my second ring will have demographics for the cumulative 0 to 10 minutes, and my third ring will be for 0 to 15 minutes. Once you've chosen your options, click this button to calculate the demographics. Maptitude displays the report with the results. You can see that it has the map on the first page and the demographic results on the second page. Here you can see the median income of the households within each of the rings, the population within each of the rings, the gender breakdown, and so forth. And at the end of the report, you'll see the count of customers within each ring and their total sales. If you go to the File menu, you'll see that you can print the report or export it to other formats such as PDF, HTML, or Microsoft Excel. When I close the report, you can see that there is also a data view with the same overlay results that were in the report, including the income, population, and if I scroll to the far right, the customer data. That wraps up this tutorial on creating drive time rings. You may also be interested in how to create circular buffers around points, which is covered in the Buffers and Overlays video tutorial.